Hello, hello, welcome. Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 26th. We're live. I'm live. My name is Matt. I'm the CMO here at Legendary. And um, yeah, you know, we're getting good weather out here in Phoenix. So I decided we're going to um, uh, got these nice, beautiful allergies here in Phoenix <laughs> during this time of year. Um, yeah, decided to, to take the show outside a little bit this for the last week or two, and uh, it's nice out here. So I do have this like bright sun sort of reflecting in my eyes, so I'm like a little squinty, but overall, it's working great. What's going on, James? Megan's in the house. Uh, lady, what's going on? Leslie, Jasmine, what's happening? Robert, good to see you. Wake up Wednesday, love that. <laughs> Ariana, Ramon, or Raymond, or Ramon, I'm not sure. I'm guessing Ramon. Uh, Jamie, what's happening? Stacy, good to see you. Awesome, down in Chandler. Emily, Jose, Jennifer, Nicole, William, John. All right, awesome. Good to see you all on here. Caitlin, Kara, CJ. All right, Jorge, awesome. Yeah, we are live. We got an awesome guest today. I'm excited to chat with him. Um, and if you're newer, you're just signing on. You're like, hey, what the heck's going on? I'm the CMO here at Legendary, and uh, I host these on Wednesday. Uh, so Dave hosts Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I host on Wednesday. I'll also be hosting this Friday in place of Dave as well. Um, but mostly every day, Monday through Friday. No, not mostly. We we are here Monday through Friday, freaking holidays everything we come on these damn things every single day uh at 10 a.m eastern and uh it's just a good way to wake up it's a good uh, i wrote this last week about habits <clears throat> forming habits and um man one of the best habits you could ever do i'm pretty convinced is just to sign on to these and and get a little bit of uh inspiration a little bit of motivation to start your day so um, if you guys in the comments can give me, uh, you know, a little hand clap emoji or some, uh, likes and hearts, uh, on this, let's welcome, uh, our guest for the day, Paul, Paul, what's going on, brother? Good to be here. Thanks, Matt. Awesome. Just, well, uh, I'm up it. here in Washington state. I wish I could have the same problem as you do with the sunshine, but, um, we'll get it back eventually. <laughs> There's just endless amounts of sunshine here. It's insane. Uh, yeah. It's sunny every single day. We're about to regret that, though, because, um, you know, about this time we start to dip into the low 100s and everybody has this lingering feeling here in Phoenix like, oh, boy, here it comes. Here comes the, the terrible summer. And then you get into the you get into the 110s and it's like, oh, boy, gets brutal. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. So tell us, uh, Paul, a little bit about you, a little bit about your story, your journey, your, just bring us into your world. How did you find the online space? You've been in the space a long time. Tell us a little bit about like your journey, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of been an interesting one. Uh, there's been some ups and downs, of course, like all journeys, but, um, mine's kind of different. You may not have heard something like this before, but I had, uh, it's been about like since 2009, since 2010, that I w was kind of in introduced to affiliate marketing, internet marketing, how to make money online, that sort of concept. And um, looking into the warrior form really like drew me that drew me into that and, and looking into how I can market services online. And I got involved in that community, um, which was kind of interesting back in that day. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I, I learned some methods and um, I started making some money. But I, I didn't. Uh, it took me a few years to actually start doing something interesting and, and making something more significant, which to me was like really exciting. Looking back on it, you know, like uh, I probably shouldn't have quit my job and moved <laughs> because of it. But <laughs> but I got super excited and I followed different people online and, and read their blogs about um, living the laptop lifestyle. You know, so one of the guys I uh, I was really into, he moved to Puerto Vallarta. And he uh, blogged about that. And so I thought that was pretty cool. So once I, I really started feeling comfortable about my success online and, and doing SEO at the time, I was doing um, sniper sites, what we called them, building affiliate sites around products and ranking them. And so, yeah, yeah I got that going. That too. 
Yeah, you're familiar with that? Yeah, well, I cre yeah, back in the day, I created a course on <laughs> SEO in like 2011. Yeah. Oh, I'm nice. Kind of nice. doing that kind of thing. That's cool. hilarious. So, yeah, yeah. So, this was so 2011. So, you probably experienced kind of what I did too back in, um, well, I eventually moved. I was like, okay, I got something going. This is great. I can get a little bit more freedom in my life. I'm going to explore Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. <laughs> I'm going to move to a foreign country. And um, it was a bit crazy. And uh, I did that in 2012. And uh, that was like February of 2012. Once I kind of started getting settled, this was then March when something big happened that most SEO guys got hit pretty hard by. And uh, myself, I got you know pretty much wiped out. And my panda? sites, my rankings. What's that? Was that Panda? Yeah, the, the big algo change. I think it was Panda. Yeah, major yeah, algo so change. For everybody who's newer, like. There's going to be a lot of people here, Paul, who have no clue what we're talking about. Basically, if I could describe it in 20 seconds, Google has an algorithm in which they determine which sites are the best. And so when you go and search on Google, you know, for instance, like uh, um, how to landscape your yard, they, they pick out certain characteristics of certain sites and place the best ones towards the top. Right. So um, then there's whole strategies around how to rank and how to do that faster. So Paul had kind of mastered that, and then Panda comes in, and uh, and and that's just what they called their update to their algorithm. They kind of named it Panda, and uh, and I just remember the whole affiliate marketing crowd just freak out, and the whole SEO crowd just freak out. Couldn't understand what was going on, but all their sites suddenly were not on the first page anymore, and a lot of people lost a lot of their income because of that, right? Exactly. So uh, for us as well, who'd been involved with this, like this never really happened to this extreme. So this was just like shocking. And so, yes, this algorithm change occurred. And so all the sites, AKA your income streams, right? So think about, you know, the money that you're making, you're feeling good. And each month it's kind of more consistent and building and building. And then boom, one, one or two days and then you're out. And for me, I had just moved to a foreign country. <laughs> So, and I was with my girlfriend, who's my wife now. Um, and uh, yeah, we were like, oh, this is interesting. Like we got to make something happen. And for me, I mean, it was all on my shoulders and I was like, it was really like gun to the head type of moment. And uh, it's interesting thinking back on it too, though, because I think that brought a lot of um, positivity. There's a lot of good that came from that because had I not had such pressure like that, I don't know if it would have forced me to make the changes that I needed to make to scale and, and grow and, and rebuild my online business to a bigger levels. So, you know, if I was up here in the States again, maybe I would have gone back to a job or something. I don't know. Um, I'd like to think I, I wouldn't, but who, who knows? But what what happened was it it forced me to go into a different, uh, different area, which at the time was fairly new to me, and that was video marketing. And I had a friend uh, that introduced me to SEO. And um, then recently he had been wanting me to get into video marketing. He was saying, hey, that's that's really cool. It's it's a fast way of ranking uh, your your stuff, your your content. And being on video or shooting videos, that seemed really new to me and different and uh, maybe a little scary because it was just a whole new learning curve to, to master YouTube. I just thought was, you know, that's a, a big deal and something new. Why would I want to do that when I'm doing sites? Well, at that time, you know, after that algo change happened, I, I had to look to something different quick. I needed to get my income streams back up. And uh, so then I moved into video marketing when I started ranking videos around the same keywords that I was using for my sites to make those profitable, uh, I ended up doing review style videos and uh, and ranking those on YouTube. And to my surprise, they ranked so much faster than the traditional SEO website building process of optimization and backlinking and things like that to get your web page to rank. And, and still to this day, I, I definitely uh, enjoy YouTube videos and they, they benefit so much more for ranking power and being quick to rank on, on Google. And of course you get YouTube as well. You can get Bing and, and Yahoo that can bring in some more traffic. But yeah, so that changed, that, that completely changed everything for me. And, uh, and then I you know just started doing that, scaling that and um, was able to rank all the existing stuff that I had, which was making money before 
and now it's making money with videos. And so I was able to do that. And it's pretty funny because uh, back in the day, you know, thinking of, of sort resources that I had, it was just an old laptop. It was like a, like a $300 laptop and I, which, you know, it's a couple years old at the time, but you're just pretty clunky, pretty slow. And I had this Logitech microphone from Target <laughs> that was like a $17 microphone. And uh, I would do review videos. My wife actually helped me out too uh, with some of the, the voiceovers. We never had to be on camera or anything, but we're just doing some re review videos around um, affiliate products. And so the interesting thing is like, even to this day, I've, I've watched some of the old ones and you can still hear the chicken in the background <laughs> because this is, this is Mexico. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they had like a jingle, like a, a, a few different delivery services that would have oh, jingles like no. throughout the day with different jingles to sell like propane tanks and, and yes. bread. And uh, one guy would deliver mattresses in the back of his truck every night. So it was, it was a different uh, experience. <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, just starting out with just a, a cheap laptop, a cheap microphone, you know, it doesn't take much. And, and I believe even to this day, you know, with your phone and just an internet connection, maybe a cheap computer, you know, that you could definitely make some progress online. You could, you could yeah. really change your life. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Some of the, some of my, some of my closest mentors, people I know that did not just, not just six figures, but seven, eight, nine figures, man, cheap, cheap hundred dollar laptop, $500 laptop. And like, just absolutely nothing. Like just mm. a cheap little laptop, in some cases, um, man, um, wonder if I have, I'll look for it, but, uh, I have this photo where I had pillows stacked around my, my laptop and I made myself a little recording studio. So I would stack pillows around my MacBook pro. It's kind of a cheap MacBook pro. When you talk into it, it sounds real echoey, but I could stack the pillows around it just enough. So it kind of create this this enclosed sound thing that sounded like a nicer microphone. But just mm. I think sometimes people, you know, sometimes people get imposter syndrome and think they need all of this stuff, that, you know, so that they're sort of legit or whatever. But it's just like, yeah, yeah, you, know, you just you whatever you've got, make it work. There is a certain threshold, I think, like that you actually you, you need something like you do need the ability to sort of create a decent video that's not super grainy if you're going to be on camera. But like you said, I mean, you could go to, um, for instance, you could go to this site, a site like, uh, let me share my screen here real quick. Let's see if I can do this. But I was just, I, I show this to people all the time and I talk about this site called Pexels, but like, mm. um, yeah. Um, like you can just go to clouds and you can grab like videos right here. This is pexels.com. And for those of you who are watching, um, I'll just stick this in the comments. There's a lot of different sites like this, but these are totally free. And, um, or this site in particular is totally free to use. And you can just get these, these like, um, these stock video clips. And you were talking about doing voiceover videos, right? So like, being able to just take a take a stock clip or a stock image and put a voiceover over it and do sort of product reviews or whatever you do, like I see people doing that uh, right now on TikTok. Like people are doing that as we speak on TikTok right now, and they're doing it for all sorts of products and making money from it. And it's, <laughs> it's just a simple. They do wow. either either some of them don't even do voiceover. They just they literally grab stock video and just put words up on the screen with noises. Wow. And build audiences of of 300,000 plus. It's crazy. Um so wow. anyway, um I just think it's Yeah. Yeah. Opportunity is out there. Oh, it, it very much is. So and when you have the drive, it's like when you have that drive, then you can make anything happen, right? Yeah. It, it's, it totally. really starts from within, I believe. It really does. I mean, and getting put on the spot like you did. I mean, I think that that is just, it's a crazy thing. And I think it's just funny that you had chickens in the background. Like the <laughs> amount of little stuff that people overthink, right? Is oh, just yeah. 
yeah is just so crazy and then you listen back to your just just i used to have like stuff in the background going on in my videos because we were in a one bedroom apartment and so sometimes like the door would open or whatever so i would intro some of my videos and literally just be like hey look uh, you know, I, I live in this one bedroom apartment here in Denver. Um, I, I'm going to be honest, we've got this kind of smaller living situation at any point, like my wife could walk in here and yell at me to do the dishes or take the trash out or some random crap. So I'm just giving you the heads up right now. <laughs> and, and people would just laugh and be like, that's hilarious, man. Like, I love you're doing your thing and I love you're just kind of honest with it. And yeah. <laughs> we've got affiliates. Uh, who have gone through our training, who make videos on TikTok, and they're just standing in the middle of their like studio apartment, and they're just like they're, it's so real and raw and honest that people are just like, yeah, yeah, man, I'm trying to like find an excuse to not believe you, but this is too believable. It's too relatable. I I don't know. Right, I just, like, exactly. Try to cover that up, and it's just like just show it. It's okay, you know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, making it relatable makes it more engaging because people, some people can can feel that themselves, can relate to you thinking that they're in the same situation. And um, yeah, I, 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 it reminds me of this quote. I don't know if I should share it or not. But, uh, I, I had heard one time about Oprah Winfrey and when she was on a, one of her weight loss kicks, uh, people, her viewership actually went down. And when she was more overweight, then she got more fans and more views because that for some people was a lot more relatable. The fact that she was just being herself and not like, trying to be skinny. Yeah. But anyway, I uh, thought that was interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting. <laughs> and, and yeah, like your, your apartment and, and then that little disclaimer that you, uh, you said at the beginning, like, yep. th that's great. So many people would probably be like, Oh yeah, he, he reminds me of myself or my friend or something. And he's a real guy. Yeah. 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 That's a very good So yeah, point. for people out there making TikTok videos or YouTube videos, uh, definitely doing that and, and not being afraid of using what you have. Yeah, w whatever. It's just a matter of just cranking out that content, producing that content, just getting it going. That's the important part. That is the important part. And I also think, you know, there's sort of an order that I would go in, which would be like order. The, the first thing would just sort of be like, I, I, number one, let's just get your content going. Let's get something up. But number two, I feel like is now I need to study and not be, a, I don't, I shouldn't be consuming content just to, for entertainment, switching, switching over to studying people's strategies, like studying Paul's strategy on SEO, studying Brian's strategy on TikTok, studying, you know, and actually becoming good at the craft and good at the craft of content creation or SEO or whatever you're trying to do, whatever marketing platform you're trying to do, getting really good at the craft of it. Um, the first barrier is usually just creating the content and getting over the fact that it's not perfect, getting over the fact that you suck and it's embarrassing and humiliating and oh my God. And then it's just like, okay, it's okay to be embarrassed and humiliated. Like it's okay for me to feel these feelings, right? And sort of yeah. just, you reframe all of that, then take that next step to actually become really skilled at it. Some people sit in this realm yeah, of like, right, right. I'm finally just creating my content and then I'll get, you know, I'll get an email or the post on the Facebook group or something, you know, two months down the road. And it's like, nothing's happening. I've been posting. Everybody says just post. And it's like, all right, well, let's take this th to the next step. Let's take it to the next level. Right now you've yeah. been posting. We need to create good posts, engaging posts, posts that really grab people's attention. You got to market, right? Um, and that's kind of the trick of, of getting to that next stage. But you're so right. That first moment is just like, hey, bear it all. I mean, maybe don't like keep your clothes on, but, you know, sort of just reveal all and have some fun with it. I think that's just lost these days in the marketing world. Yeah, well, definitely. But I think it also has kind of made a comeback with TikTok. I know for myself, I've, I did that. I messed around with that a couple months ago. And um, I mean, even some of the videos that I have now, I'm like, oh, that there's so many problems with this video, but whatever, it's getting views and it, it is adding value and some people will like it. And who knows? I mean, some, some of those bad ones go viral. <laughs> yeah, I, because like it, it happens, like I think anytime you try something new, that's what you're going to experience. You're going to fail. You're going to fail forward. Hopefully, you know, any, anytime you get hit with something, just try to get yourself back up again 
and and keep at it knowing that maybe you learn something for next time you know if if this time didn't work out to your liking or you know what you find is great and perfect then don't worry about it you know perfection i've heard an interesting saying that perfection uh makes you broke basically like if if you try to overanalyze you get analysis paralysis and you just spin your wheels and not do anything there's no such thing as as perfect anyway so you might as well just acknowledge maybe that's just maybe it's just your own flaw that's saying this has to be a certain way that's preventing you to just publish it and to get it out there uh, but anytime you do something new like no matter what i i you know, it happens to me all the time. Like even though my video marketing, my YouTube videos and, and review videos now, they're they're different. They're better now that I've been doing them for 10 years. But if I do something new like TikTok, it's like, it's it's funny. I, I laugh at it. It's like, okay, I know I'm gonna get better now <laughs> because I see this video and, and I see little things and I know then that there's gonna be changes that I make for the next time I do it. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So just believe in yourself and believe that you'll improve. And and hopefully I'll improve too when I when I do that. What, um, what, uh, in your, so in your experience, sort of this, like, this has been like a real 10 year journey here, dude, like in <laughs> yeah. your experience, like, like, what are some, what are some bigger, larger themes that you've been able to pull out? Also, I mean, you've probably experienced a lot of different training, like you've probably experienced a lot of different communities and training and even like, I would say sort of ethos. What? like what's your experience been like let's say with legendary now versus like a lot of the stuff that you've experienced what other stuff have you experienced mostly i'm just curious and then you know what's that been like over the years like what if you know what do you look for in affiliate products what do you look for in communities like what what it, what's those 10 years taught you interesting um yeah that's that's a good question i think like there, there's two points. One of it is like your question about my experiences and like, I guess is your question as like a product creator or, or just finding different ways to make money online. Um, and then the other part is like affiliate selection, affiliate product selection. And that's, that's completely different in which like, yeah, there's, I'm, I'm, there's a lot of discernment and there, I have a lot more filters now, uh, nowadays than I used to back in the day when it'd be like, oh, look at the EPCs, sweet, <laughs> you know, which stands for earnings per click. And and you can find that on, on networks where it'll say like this product could get you or this averages this EPC. And for those that are not aware of that, um, that earnings per click, it's it's kind of exciting because it, make, it makes you think like, oh, if I just send 10 clicks and it has a $3 EPC, I can make $30 like like that. And I know people on TikTok and I can get views, you know, 10 views or whatever. Well, it doesn't really work like that. <laughs> and you can actually get better earnings per click or lower earnings per click, depending on the quality of traffic that you send. So it's all about quality of traffic. And uh, with, with Legendary and that as, um, as a course and as a program and as a community, uh, I, I've been very impressed the whole way through. Um, so the, the community in itself has been interesting, like not just inside the Facebook group, but outside, you know, the, the marketers, they're cool people. Like I, I learn stuff from them all the time and I get value out of co different content and I, I can't speak for everybody, but, um, there's been many, like, I, I don't really know of one that's like really annoying or spammy or anything like that. Uh, I think that really says a lot to your guys' training. And, and how you've set people up for success because you set them up to add value and to have content that's um, congruent to your, your services. Uh, and then also to have like quality traffic that's coming over there that's, that's already framed and educated about what's going on. Um, so yeah, I've, I've definitely learned a lot from the community and the people promoting Legendary um, just from their free stuff. And, uh, and so as far as a product then yeah, legendary, when I went through the seven, the 15 day challenge, um, just in a couple of days, I was really impressed, like extremely impressed with, with what it is, like what, what it teaches you. Like I've, there's methods in there. This might sound kind of crazy, but I've gone through other courses, like thousand dollar courses. And some of those concepts, those were like the aha moments I got from the thousand dollar courses. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was super impressed. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Sometimes, um, like even just the amount of time that we spend sort of looking at the, the, the content in the, in the challenge or stuff like that, we forget that like, man, it's only $7 and there really are some people out there selling $997 courses 
or even like two hundred ninety seven dollar courses that um, teach basically sort of similar or you know uh, you know you get the same aha mm -hmm. moments from yeah. those from those courses. And it's just yeah, it's just crazy. It's very interesting. Well, that's cool. I'm glad that you like the course and and you know have have had a great experience with our community. I feel like you know most people who come on here have they'll mention or say something about you know the community is so great just because of the collaborative kind of feel to it you know i think that's a i yeah. think that's a unique thing that's been cultivated here that is it's harder to cultivate that with um i think this is just a real credit to like the leadership at legendary specifically dave um and his wife aaron and julie and i i i they like we we put a big big emphasis on mental health and on uh, hmm. just being healthy holistic people like not in a weird wow. way not in like a like a oh we're holistic yeah. and whatever no, it's just that like sounds good people and i think that over time that sort of wins out as where yeah. you, you and i have both been in this industry to know we've been in this industry long enough to know there's there's guys out there who are young bucks or you know and they're all hyped up and they're all excited and and they get people ramped up and they kind of make false promises or they kind of you know yeah. they over they there's stuff going on behind the scenes that might not be the most uh honest or or have the the highest level of integrity and you know those what ends up happening over time is those communities become really toxic and people start taking mm -hmm. advantage of each other and it just, it gets real nasty real quick. So I just, um, you know, for people who are new here, I'm a, obviously a little biased. I've been with legendary for quite a few years now, or I guess three years now. And, um, I I'm obviously a little biased, but I can still, even if I wasn't in legendary, I could tell you, um, there's other communities out there in the online space that are far more misleading and dishonest and we do everything we can to make this a safe community. Um, are you going to get people who message you in your DMs trying to sell you stuff? Yes, it's going to happen. It's going to happen all over the internet. There's tons of people and it's just, it's how it goes. But for the most part, it's a, it's a real clean, um, you know, fun, fair, honest community, helpful people. Um, I don't know why I'm ranting about this right now, but I just... Oh, that, I think that's very interesting, actually. Uh, so you mentioned mental health, and I was curious, what kind of things do you do there for that? Mostly just, like, we, we make it an emphasis. There's sort of this expectation of, like, you're going to take care of yourself. So, mm -hmm. like, in, in other circles, it's sort of the expectation is you're going to grind until you die right and it's like and that's set from the owner's expectation the owner's there every day they're grinding every day they're working 16 mm, hours and geez. they're they're burnt out and they hate their life and that's just not the case yeah. um and when that yeah. sort of gets set at a higher level it's it's you have this ex like i don't feel nervous about working 16 hour days i feel nervous if i'm doing that i feel nervous if i'm like if i'm overworking myself i feel guilty about that because i know the expectation is like hey man you've, hmm. you've got to have a, a gauge and a pulse on yourself to take time away to set time away and to actually like take care of yourself and if i don't do that and i'm burnt out that's like part of my job description here like part of my job description is like you take care of yourself so when you show up to meetings when you show yeah. up for the customers and clients you're not giving them you know, short answers or you're not, you know, treating them like you're not giving them the time of day. So that's right. Of yeah. Yeah. That's, it's, that's really interesting to hear. I'm glad to hear it. Cause yeah, it, that, it's much that is so important. It's on like, we're going to give you a thousand dollars stipend for, you know, therapy or massages or whatever. It's more of just like a, Hey, um, um, make sure you take care of yourself. Like, you're, and it's sort of like this trusting, like, we trust you. We trust that you're smart, that you're intuitive, that you know yourself. Take care of yourself, you know? So, yeah. Well, yeah. And it's interesting you say that because 
I think starting out, you're talking about my journey and stuff and starting out, it's easy to just want more tactics and techniques. You know, like I, I want to get more traffic to this offer or I want better conversion rate on my landing page or my funnel, you know, tweak this and tweak that. But what's really interesting is that as you, as you see things happen, as you see big things happen, like, like what's happening with legendary or other successful entrepreneurs um, and what they're talking about and what they're doing, it's, it's really a mental thing. And it's a mental health thing. It's it's taking care of yourself. You know, there's masterminds where people will talk for hours and hours just on sleep quality, and and they'll all like that. They love that. Like that. That's a huge value. If you can master your sleep, then you can really do well in business. You can do so much better in business if you get that stuff down. Yeah, man, that's that's some real stuff there. That's for yeah. sure. And it's not to say that there's not times where, you know, you get four hours of sleep because you're grinding and you're, you're getting ready for a big launch right. or whatever. But yeah. knowing yourself, knowing your body, knowing how to take care of it, that's huge. So, huge. yeah. Yeah. And as Matt was saying, too, it's it's how you show up. So for Dave and him, he was what were you saying? David was uh, was telling you or the team was saying that, you know, it's it's important for how you show up then. So that that time, that FaceTime, maybe the interviews or maybe talking to people, selling something, yeah. that time is going to be so much better. And it's going to mean a lot more when you show up in your presence and you have the energy for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the difference between customer support giving a one line response to a, to a support question that doesn't really help anybody. And it's mm -hmm. like, Hey, we just need to get these tickets answered versus, mm -hmm. you know, a, a three to four paragraph response that's detailed that gives links out to different videos and, and to different resources and really actually provides value for somebody. That little extra is all stemming from sort of that mental health space where they're, they log in, and they log into their support back office every day with a full cup. Their cup is overflowing and they're ready to help people. Uh, it's, right. It, it's it that that overflow comes in sales, it comes in marketing, it comes in content yeah. creation, it comes in blogging, Yeah, exactly. Everything. I was going to say for the people watching, if you're not thinking that's really necessarily congruent to what you're doing because you may not have a business like Legendary it's it's actually very congruent to your affiliate marketing efforts if you choose affiliate marketing if you're doing that uh, when you're handling support tickets or somebody's replying to your emails then if you do that like it's amazing what can happen when people can see oh you actually care wow <laughs> that's the difference between like a seven dollar commission and a thousand dollar commission <laughs> yeah what a Could novel be. concept <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah, because a lot caring. of people aren't doing it you know most people yeah. aren't most people don't care <laughs> They don't. They think about numbers and and clout <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah yeah vanity metrics and stuff like that and and then or and then I like outsource or have like really a poor quality customer service and it's good to to delegate but when you delegate you want to make sure that's quality too like just how you would frame it and just how you would respond to somebody because it makes a big difference yeah you don't those numbers don't actually need to be that big for it to have significant changes in your life for you to make significant income yeah yeah totally. Totally. Man. Wow. This has been very valuable, dude. This has been really valuable. Yeah. Th oh, thank you. Um, Good. Do you have any, uh, do you have any, I'll, I'll let you have the last word. Um, do you have any parting sort of advice or thoughts for anyway? It could be, could be an affiliate who's already killing it. It could be, we've got people here today who like purchased legendary an hour ago <laughs> and they're on here watching. You know, so like there's people who are like, this whole thing is so brand new to me, um, you know, and they're just signing on to be like, it, you know, what the heck is this legendary marketer thing? You know, <laughs> what, a, what is this 15 day challenge thing? And then there's other people here who are more experienced. What do you have any like parting advice or things that you what's on your mind today? Yeah, well, just kind of like what we talked about, the theme of this is has been consistency showing up. And uh, and taking massive imperfect action, you know, but but making it mindful too, you know, don't just like throw things around like to in terms of customer support, you know, don't just take that for granted and, and not handle that. But but uh, in terms of your content, getting that content out there and taking action on that and taking imperfect action and results will follow when you do that. It's it's been proven. 
and, uh, and and not to be afraid of just of doing something, of pressing record, you know, telling people who you are. I see that on TikTok all the time. It's crazy, man. I'm sure you do too. It's like, you know, these people like they still have a job or they just lost their job or all walks of life, all walks of life. And they're just doing some TikTok videos and then, you know, just all of a sudden they blow up. <laughs> yeah. And they're they're able to live that laptop lifestyle, to live the internet marketing lifestyle um, from anywhere they want in just a matter of a few months because they're able to be consistent. And it's, it's pretty tough. Like it's not easy because it, it, failure sucks, you know, or, or feeling like you failed. It's really not about failure. It's about feeling like you failed when your video doesn't do a certain thing that you want it to do, but it will. And, and another video might, you know, and, and the next video might, and the, the, the next, the next video, that might be your viral video that changes everything. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's it just a matter be. of showing up. Yeah. There's a good chance actually. I mean, like, there's actually a decent chance that it is. Uh, mm. I think I think people are, yeah, especially on TikTok, especially on TikTok yeah. because TikTok yeah, is yeah. such. It's uh, it's like it's just it's oh my gosh, I could go on and on, but it it could just be like, uh, it's such a hack. I mean, it's such right. a hack. It's it's just it's crazy. So. Well, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Uh, this was awesome, and I'm I'm pumped that I got to meet you. And um, you know, we're always kind of coming back to to recurring guests later on down the road. So if you're around later, a couple months down the road, we'd love to have you back on. Cool. Sounds good. Great to meet you too, Matt. Awesome. Have a good day. See ya. All right, guys. Uh, happy Wednesday. Hope your Wednesday's going well. Middle of the week, we start to ramp up and get ready uh, for the weekend. And uh, I know many of you are weekend warriors. You're like, hey, I ain't got no weekends. Come Friday night, Saturday morning, I'm starting my business. Like that's that's when I've actually got time. I, I'm not working, I'm not in my nine to five. So um, <laughs> it's been two days. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's keep going. If you're newer to our community, I just wanted to say one thing. If you're newer, you're getting started in the challenge, look, even if you don't do anything, even if you you never actually go forward and, and go crazy with this online business thing, just my encouragement to you would just be to finish the challenge, right? doesn't even matter if you never do anything with it for the rest of your life. Just finish the challenge. Get through 15 days because there's something powerful in just finishing what you started. That habit is such a big habit. And if we don't ever teach you anything else here at Legendary, let us teach you how to finish something that you start and, and creating that new habit for yourself will be really powerful. So uh, we're signing off for the day. We'll be back here again, same time, same place next week. Okay. So we're here every single Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. We're live. This is not pre recorded. I'm literally sitting out here. There's a freaking landscaper outside of my, I don't know if you've been able to hear him. There's a landscaper right outside of our fence doing, I don't even know what. Um, but this is just, we just go live and it's real and it's raw and it's honest. Uh, and we, and we have real guests every single day, um, unless they don't show up, but they usually show up and, uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Same time. Tomorrow.